What is up everybody, it's Lickin' Noel here. I'm coming to show you guys today about OBS Studio and how to have the best recording possible settings possible for OBS Studio. And I did a tutorial on OBS Studio before about how to fix your audio track. Uh, go ahead and watch that if you haven't set that up yet. It has to deal with uh, separating your tracks from mic audio to the desktop audio, which is your game sound and stuff like that. All right, so let's go ahead and jump straight into this. Uh, these are obviously the best settings. Uh, general, you don't really need. I like to have the dark theme because I don't really like the default theme. I like, I don't know, I'm, I'm a vampire. I like stuff to be in the dark. So stream, this is not what we're going to be talking about. I can do something about streaming. Honestly, I don't even stream that much. So let's just go ahead and go to recording tab on the output tab. And then go ahead and go to advanced because simple is just too simple. I mean, you want advanced, obviously, because that's where the best comes from. So I like to do standard. Standard is uh, standard's really good type to have. Uh, custom output. Really not sure what that does very much, but these are the settings from the creator of OBS Studio himself. So I know these are going to be the best possible recording stuff in general. Uh, MP4, you want MP4 because uh, that's that's what uh, YouTube, it makes the best possible videos and YouTube kind of talks about how MP4 is what you want your videos to be recorded in. The audio track, I have two audio tracks, so that's what you want right there. Okay, encoder is what we're moving on to next. I use the X264 encoder, I have an AMD video graphics card. So honestly, this isn't that very good. AMD video coding engine H.264 encoder is not very good. And if you have an NVIDIA graphics card, you'll have the NVIDIA one. I'm not really sure what it says, but it's NVIDIA. And obviously, I mean, I think personally that that's not very good to use. The X264 is really, really good to have. So I'm moving on. I have a 1920 by 1080 monitor. If you have a 720, 1280 by 720, obviously you would change that to 1280 by 720. But I'm just keeping mine to 1920 because that's what I have. Uh, custom uh, settings, you don't really need any of that. And then moving on next to rate control, I use CRF. CRF is what the guy himself requires. Well, it doesn't require, but says is the best. I used to use CBR constant bit rate. You know, you have variable bit rate, and I don't know what that one is. It's something average bit rate. That's what it is. CRF is control something, but you want to set your CRF to five. He he says go in between um, one to twenty. CRF five I found to be the best for for my PC. Sometimes that can range. I used to use one on uh, just a regular OBS and it worked fine, but that all depends on your CPU. I have an eight core CPU, so it five works great for me and my audio qual my audio and my video quality on my rendering, on my recording settings is fantastic actually. So, and then I set the key interval. Uh, it's set for zero to auto, like that's what it says right there. Uh, two is what you wanna have. Two is what's the best. And then I keep mine on ultra fast. I used to keep it on very fast, but it takes less CPU drain from your CPU if you put it on ultra fast. The file sizes will be a little bit bigger, I will say, but if you render your videos, it'll decrease the file size. And so it doesn't really matter. I like to keep mine on ultra fast because it keeps the video quality really, really, really good because it takes less CPU uh, encoding for the video quality. Then YouTube also requires you to have high. Well, they don't require it, but they say high is the best to have. And I agree that profile high is really, really good to have. Tune, most people put none, but I like to have mine on film because film, uh, just you're making a film. So it, it, it tunes it a little bit to make that crisper quality. And now the variable frame rate, you don't want to have that when you're using CRF. And the X26, X264 options, separated by space, I, I don't put anything for that. You can, if you find something for that you want to put, go ahead. But honestly, I don't think it needs anything. Moving on next, uh, audio bitrate, you want to have those set to 320. 
I think that's by by default. And then we go to audio and you want to have your sample rate 40. I think it should be. Yeah, it should be 44. And then stereo, obviously stereo is the best quality. And then you want to have like a desktop audio device at my front jack with my audio technica and then your next audio device. Moving on to that, the video, you want to have 1920 by 1080. Obviously, if you have a 1920 by 1080 and then another 1920 and then downscale, you want to go by cubic because uh, you see there it says if you go by linear fastest, but blurry of scaling. And this is the best by cubic. I found to be the best. It helps out. And then I use just 30. You can go 60 if you want to, but I, th I find 30. And it to be good. And then you want to have disable error. Make sure you have that because that, that is definitely a requirement is have disable error. And then for advanced, I go to direct X. I need open GL because that's what my CP, my GPU does open GL. You have CUDA is another one. CUDA is really good to have. Um, but mine just has open GL and then you want to keep the color format to NV 12. Oh, we know never mind. direct 3d 11 because I remember that last time I tried to go to open GL and they said that open GL was not yet advanced So keep it to 3d 11 and then the color format to MV 12 and YUV color space 601 YUV color range partial. I'm pretty sure most of this is default. Everything on here you want to copy because it was like this and they said do not mess, mess with the advanced tabs um, because the advanced tabs right now this is still a fairly new program to record with and everything is not completely ready. But honest, obviously I believe OBS Studio is better uh, quality recording than OBS, just regular OBS which is what I'm using right now to record with so you guys can see this. Um, so there you go. That's the best settings. And then obviously, you know, you can go over here and add scenes. I have a bunch of different scenes because I record a lot of different stuff. And then I need to add a webcam, but I haven't added a webcam yet. I need to get a better webcam. So with that being said, guys, thank you for watching this. As always, like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll catch you guys later. It was the Lucky Narwhal. Bye-bye.